How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Book S. It's slick, it's powerful, and it's the one for you if you're thinking of a device that you can take out and about with you anywhere you wanna go and still get your work done. Let's get on with it. The Samsung Galaxy Book S is one of those laptops that's designed with a specific target audience in mind. So it will be reviewed as such. It's not built for gaming, for example, so reviewing it, complaining about how I can't play Call of Duty on it would be totally pointless. Uh, what the Galaxy Book S does offer is an excellent battery life, good connectivity and perfect for those who want an always on, always connected machine for their work wherever they are or wherever they go to. Out of the box, you immediately notice how ultra thin and slim it is. It's so thin, it almost uh, disappears into thin air when you look at it sideways especially. At 960 grams, it's so light it can easily be chucked in a bag or like me just put in my chest bag and I'm good to go. It's so slick beyond words that uh, I don't even know how they've managed to do this without compromising on materials used. Um, so for example, it's got a metal chassis and it's very solid. You get 13.3 inch TFT Full HD touchscreen with narrow bezels and around 94% sRGB coverage when it comes to color gamut. Again, continuing with that sleek uh, look here, it looks very snazzy, I really like it. One thing I really liked about the display is its brightness of around 335 nits, just about. And when I use it outdoors, I can see what I'm still doing without uh, any issue, compared to the level of struggle that I would normally experience with something that's less bright uh, or something else in the market right now. If I have any issue, it's that the glossy finish just attracts a lot of fingerprints. The Galaxy Book S is a true Samsung design craftsmanship. And even the downward firing speaker sounds really good with a pleasant surprise there, bringing in the efforts of their audio acquisition with AKG brings that tuned speakers to the level that I'd really expect from such. There's a 720p webcam for Zoom calls, although not Windows Hello compatible, uh, strangely. But where it makes up for it is with the power button that also doubles up as a fingerprint sensor, so that can quickly log you in every time you press that power button. I genuinely love the colors uh, used here, both on the outside and on the inside. And as with any laptop or device with this kind of keyboard fo footprint, uh, it will either be comfortable for you or not, depending on the size of your fingers. But for me, uh, it was more than good enough, not enough space uh, to rest my palm, but that's a compromise I'm willing to make. Having said that though, I still think the trackpad is wide enough, uh, but you can't click the top of it, which is quite weird. Keyboard travel is very good, uh, it's okay actually, uh, nothing to write home about in that area. For ports, you get two USB-C on either sides of the Galaxy Book S. Uh, both of which can be used to charge the machine or output a video signal to an external monitor. There's a 3.5mm headphone jack just next to one of the USB-C ports. You also have a SIM card tray which also houses the micro SD card slot as well. Uh, at this point it just feels like a scaled up Galaxy Note device with a keyboard and Windows 10 running on it. Powered by Qualcomm 8CX, it's part of the reason why it's able to be as slim as it is and it also results in a very cool machine. Integrated with it, it's also the Qualcomm's X24 modem which gives you some good speeds uh, depending on which network you go with. With this processor uh, chip, it also means you are limited to a 32-bit emulated version of any Windows application you want, uh, provided it's available. And you have 64-bit applications encoded specifically for ARM64 architecture. You can still game on it. Uh, you can use Photoshop to a certain extent, um, but try to push it for video editing and uh, I wish you good luck with that. Of course, this wouldn't be a Samsung product without a touch of Samsung-esque software on there. So you can tether your device to it and have it on the screen whilst doing your work. So like a, a duplicate version, like a, an extension of your phone on the laptop itself. Battery performance is no issue either. You can easily get a day's work out of it, which is really good. And then some. So the battery life is not something you worry about at all when you get one of these. It felt good to be able to pick it up at any time and just carry on like uh, you have an endless supply of battery life in there. So verdict, as I mentioned, the Samsung Galaxy Book S is not for everyone. If you need a tool for learning, Microsoft Office applications, web browsing, and some basic photo editing, then it's definitely one to consider. Uh, it's stylish, ultra thin, portable, has a long battery life, an excellent display, but where it really lacks is applications that are compatible with it, and it's a hard pill to swallow for that price tag. So that's it for the Samsung Galaxy Book S. As usual, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you have any questions, drop them there as well. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification as well. It really helps me out, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.